everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am so very, very excited today. It is my first time in the country of the Ukraine, and I'm here with our host for the rest of this week, Lucas. He is going to tell us where we're at, and then we're going to be doing a Ukrainian food challenge. Not an official restaurant food challenge, but we're here at a massive Ukrainian festival. What festival is it? We're at the Poltava Festival in Poltava, Ukraine. This is a traditional yearly uh, Ukrainian festival. We're here to try food. We're here to see the beer, the wine, all of the people, the unique dressing. So it's gonna be a lot of fun today. Yeah, there's over, there's multiple thousands of people here. And for one of the events, I'm gonna be doing about three kilograms of a traditional Ukrainian food challenge. I'll be doing three different foods, and what are they? So today, Randy's gonna be eating a big bowl of borscht, which is a traditional Ukrainian soup that's been going back hundreds of years here. We're gonna have a kilogram of uh, vareniki, which is a traditional dumpling here in Ukraine that's covered in onions and bacon. And we're also gonna be doing a kilogram of shashlik, which is a traditional Ukrainian pork steak. Yeah, there's not really gonna be a time limit. I'll just be trying to finish everything as quick as possible. With the soup, that's obviously all gonna go down quick. Big thank you to the directors and everybody here at the Poltava Festival for inviting us all the way from the United States to here to experience the Ukrainian culture. Thanks of course to my Further You team for getting this all set up, but yeah, let's go get some food. Alright, I'm here at the Poltava Festival. I've got three kilograms of food in front of me. We've got the potato dumplings, we've got the meat, shashlik, and then the dumplings are are baraniki, and then we've got one kilo of borscht. But one sitting time limit. I'm just going to try to finish as quick as I can. Let's shut up and eat, and let's dominate. This meat is so tender and juicy. It's going to be awesome. But we got our timer here. Go ahead. Кричать бурщом запивай. Ой, на горі, на горі, 
лучше було не ходити, лучше було, лучше було не любити, а ще краще, а ще краще та й не знати, чим тепер, чим тепер забувати. Поки не пишався за карі очі, поки не пишався за карі очі, а любити не буду, бо мать не хоче, а любити не буду, бо мать не Українця. Ну а ми, звичайно, вибігу поповні за нашого американця. Дай Боже йому здоров'я, наслаги доїсти всі оті українські страви. Ренді, давай! Ренді, давай! Ренді, давай! 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 Говорила, щоб не смів я жартувати. Мені мама говорила, щоб не смів я жартувати. 22 minutes in, not sure why, but tons of people have stayed to watch. So let's finish this course and get the challenge win. That meat was so good. Love finishing off with all that soup or that borscht. 25 minutes and 57 seconds. That was such a good meal. Thank you so much to everybody for staying. Ooh. Okay, uh, that was a delicious traditional Ukrainian meal challenge. Ooh. I was gonna get the meal free anyway. So yeah, just my favorite was definitely that meat. It was so juicy, warm, and tender. Pretty easy to eat. Love dipping it into the borscht, but then all of those dumplings were great too. I forgot the Ukrainian names. But yeah, 25 minutes and 57 seconds. There will be two restaurant food challenges coming up, but just wanted to show you guys this one with some traditional Ukrainian foods here at the festival. So thank you to them for having me here. Thank you guys for watching. Let's check out some more of the foods here at the festival. So and he was on it. He was looking at me though, and I was like, oh boy, he's in trouble. Like, we didn't have any prep time, and I was gonna throw up. <laughs> it was good. The, the meat cooled down a bit, so it was tougher. My jaw was...